nikasema hiyo siku nashinda nikifanya hivi kwa sababu <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun in the studio and of course nimekuambia I'll keep telling you a lot of karibu back and a lot of welcome back because ni mimi tu utapata hapa but thank you for keeping us company here at y254 tv this being hashtag thirsty vibes why in the morning and tumetoka tu kuambiwa sai kijana mali ni pesa kijana nimekuwa rapper kidogo so kabla ni ni rekindle my rapping moments i have another interesting one in the studio he's called the king of the lakeside nastaki kuwa jinx lo i'm being nice I'm, I, I don't know wahala I don't wear wahala today so today I'm being nice I'm letting I'm not jinxing you karibu my santi sana like you want me to Niwe bagi boyo moment ya nafikiria do I continue saying who you are or I just let you be I just let you say who you are just introduce yourself okay, allow me to reintroduce myself yes please. I go by the name of the king one and only king of lakeside number one in the game number one in your heart Leo mimi amulia jamani. Having a good day. I'm having a good day. Niko poa nashukuru. Who's the king? The king ni the king. Ni msanii ule anatoka SM ya Lakeside and like I'm based in Nairobi, South Sea. Yeah. And I'm just doing music. I love doing music and business business as well. Yeah. So how did you end up here? Music like why music? Hiyo ni question mzuri sana. <coughs> like ukiuliza how did i end up here hata wacha niambie mwalimu ule alikuwa aniambia sitaweza hapa ni wapi hapa ni wapi mwalimu wale wale walikuwa wanambia gas students that hautakuwa kitu hautawai jiu taweza unafikiria anga tu kuimba ndio the only thing inaweza kusaidia kwa hii dunia but back back then hata si kuimba ilikuwa big deal kwangu ilikuwa football oh really interesting ilikuwa na tisa ball hata nimechezea rambe stars under 17 So after kupata knee injury that's where I wanted I to ask you what happened I switched to music cuz nilikuwa na injury ile nilichukua like two years kupona oh. Yeah cuz back then pesa ikuwa rahisi like ilikuwa budango tafute like 2 million if I give any surgery cuz kuna ibol iko hapa juu ilikuja this side so hiyo pesa ikuwa inapatikana so ili ile amuliwa kuletwa tu pole pole mpaka ikarudi hapa so When I get back to the field I was not that fast the way I was so nikasa manika na ji enjoy sasa and I was born an entertainer I just I decided to switch this side because talent is in me <laughs> <laughs> At what point did you decide now this is it I want to do music Actually I can't say what time because nilianza kuimba hata by the time I was playing football nilikuwa naimba nikifunga bao nikwenda kwa corner kuchukua mic as a DJ na roga wase hapo na tupa mic na rudi kwa pitch. Unaona so ni kitu ilikuwa ni ufala tu ilikuwa imeanza kitambo. So alafu but like ile nimekuja kuichukua serious ile naweza sema to okay. I can convert this one to business as well. Ilikuwa 2010 hapo. Yeah. So imekuwa off and on thing but kuna nyakati nyingine nilichukua serious mpaka ile kwa serious like one year back. Then ikachukua another break but size ya back tena cuz una do like every time i take a break kuna pesa nafuata pale ajua sijui kwa nini napenda pesa hivyo pesa muhimu pesa muhimu so in between the breaks you take you take breaks to mm. to make money you take breaks to take up to like rejuvenate you take breaks what do you do with those breaks okay, like the first break i took uh, i was uh, like nilikuwa ni travel I was in uh, South Africa nikaka huko kitu kama 4 months nikatoka South Africa nikaenda Sudan another four months so naona like hizo zote nilikuwa ni job so unajua like uwezi make music huko ufanye nini cuz unajua huko kwa foreign country alafu huko pia unapata studio time e studio time tunapata hapa Kenya ni naweza sema ni cheap huko mazao wale wasema wamechukua music is a business like iko very very serious unapata like hapa tu record ngoma ile watu wako expensive wana go up to 50 30 huko mtu ana record na so na just yes, one audio hiyo ni south africa so una do like nikaona tu wenye hakuna aja ni fanye huku sana wacha nirudi tu home pali <laughs> nimezoea nifanye hiyo kitu then unapata language barrier pia ni sometimes inaleta shida though mnaongea english mnaweza communicate but una do like 
when you are an artist kuna ule producer moja anakuelewa anakutouch yani anakusikiza sana like me i love working with like pre, three producers at the moment which likes of uh, jagede lechi na md so i was saying our feeling is sana so unapata anga sometimes as a do music inje ama place your heart but kuna kitu mimi nita miss kwa hiyo music because they know me more than how i know myself so hizo breaks ina kuanga most of them biashara like the last one here last year na za sema ilikuwa ni about politics yeah i was campaigning for my boys i have two boys mca south c uh, which is a bus and uh, mp langata jalango so i was like i choose between my career and my friends career so i just decided like lead good go a good leadership ni kitu muhimu kwa society even be with my music with i have good leaders even my music can go far so i just decided to campaign for them and you are showing here me i get back to my business because with them there i'm good down here that was that was a sacrifice though no it's not it's not that huge sana cuz you're like i'm back na venye nime come to back na hiyo truck nimeangusha ya kwanza kuna impact ile uzito fulani ime spread kwa industry ambapo like nimepata ma calls mingi even calligraph alinipigia kiniambia bro nimeona hiyo kazi umekam nayo that are dope music can raise it ulikuwa na jana club 64 ali feel for the first time akaniambia bro in kazi mzuri mpaka in fact anaomba remix nikamwambia no i don't do remix ala why no remix unajua msanii akifanya remix ni kama ana ana idea unaelewa like ni kama i'm running out of ideas that's why i'm not a song if you are an artist piga ngoma zikienda if you want to do a collab ita msanii mfanye collab mpya like ukipata <coughs> sorry ukipata somebody like calligrapher ama kenrezi ama mchote yule ataka mtu mwambie bro niko na 16 songs sija release among these songs chagua moja ile imekunaise we will do it cuz watu wajaisikia mm. but nikifanya ile watu wameisikia ni kama sina idea alafu most of ukiangalia vizuri angalia remix zote zimefanywa Kenya hiyo ndio anga end of msanii jua nafanya remix wale wasani wengine wanakuja wanamuosha <laughs> akisha oosho sasa the next song akitoa kutu ya nikaa na batisha so me nilisema i don't want remix nikikuja remix ni ngoma yako nikuja nikuoshe niishie that's it oh wow yeah. so um kuna point to me raise a uh, important uh, nataka kukuuliza swali that do you think that venye those other countries that you've been to the, yeah. the likes of south africa which have made a bit of strides in terms of music mm-hmm. the fact that the way they charge their music to um how do i put it the way they charge their music like their charging rate is quite is quite high do you think peer it's it also narrows down to the quality of music they produce like peer it affects the <coughs> music quality of music they produce okay kitule na sema ukienda studio na do like in every country kuna ile budget ya high na ukienda hapo ile product unatoka nayo ni product nyingine ya maana sana unajua ile kitu na wa industry ya Kenya ni moza like back in the days back back in the days kulikuwa na studio kama mbili kale na robi mzima so ulikuwa unapata wa send walikuwa na produce ma songs but size hata mimi ni kuna studio kwa bedroom yangu not si hata kwa kids yangu kwa bedroom yangu so unapata will just bring some few artists na wafanyia ngoma na ambie ndeni wanipatia 3000 4000 6000 10000 but sijawasaidia unafa produce mc song ambapo ikienda on air hakuna ile maswali naulizwa eh hey, mbona ika hivi because unapata like mse ataku produce yango ya 5k below ama 10k below then ukifika pale lazima utumie a lot of things ndio hiyo ngoma yako ipate airplay South Africans what they usually do they will charge you expensive but ni ngoma ile at least mastering iko quality eh, vocals iko sawa instrument iko sawa alafu hata venye designer ile watakwambia nyewe tumekufanya hii song this is the way we are going to do they have all emails of uh, tv stations and radio stations they just email them waki email unapata tu producer shao na hii quality imetoka kwa so and so umse so and so ni mse ule wanajua ngatu kazi yake jai batishwa like sio kitu anajaribu ni kitu amejiamini so hiyo ndio kitu nafanyika like 
that money like kuna mpaka studio za 10k zuko hiyo ni Kenyan money but hizo studio sasa ni zile za kujibamba yani kujitrain yani una training yako uone venue huko uziweke home ujisikize but kama unataka good music ile inatoka nje unaenda hizo za 8 ya so ya 150 kuna zingine mpaka una zinagonga half a million ngoja yeah tunaongelelea juu ya Kenyan money no no yeah Kenyan money 500 yeah ku produce audio audio moja hey. leo jaongea video nimemwambia guys leo nime change career from a journalist yeah they are making money and uh, like ni ile una invest unapata kama for example kama hii track ya hera and nime invest kitu kama 450 sijajua kama hiyo 450 itakuja <laughs> that, that's what i would to ask but wo, ile kitu mimi utaka like ikienda somewhere will it get yani like huyo mse ataicheza without asking questions kuzo na pata like producer wala me produce song ni jakide amejulikana ndio video video mwenye amenifanyia hii video ni mse mwingine aitwa moa hajajulikana sana but nilimwambia bro i want to give you everything you want all i want is a video a nice video a good video ile video hata nikipeleka trace wapi hizo ma stations big big mm. waniulize maswali mingi and so far by venye hii video ilitoka like he may put a lot of airplay to TV stations mob in a certain way back at mimi i was like how hmm? hata kuna station zingine kubwa kubwa hii Kenya yetu mpaka mse ananipigia producer wana nipigia da king ni aje bro mzee nimeona umetoa kazi fiti sana ingekuwa video chafu angenipigia angekuwa video ile low quality angenipigia so just invest in whatever you are doing the way those people are investing and that's why you know like right now Nigeria and South Africa and Tanzania are leading us. Unaona bana boy size yako wapi? Angekuwa na tumia dopo kwa staff zake, angekuwa pale yako sasa. In Africa bana boy ndio is ana lead size. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Juki una hata places anaenda makolab anafanya hizo my events ana jaza huko UK, Brazil wapi? Imagine ana perform baka Brazil. Pali wa they do was ongee English. English ni kama foreign language kwao. Mm-hmm. So unapata bana boy ana perform up. So that's uh, me one day nataka nifike hiyo level. Ndio nifike hiyo level I have to invest a lot in whatever I'm doing. And will you say if you were asked will you say that in the Kenyan music industry yeah. we do away with <coughs> low quality like what I'll, I'll say like nikilen tas ambia wasani ama anybody is watching just patience do pay work out get money produce a good audio bring a good video later kwa station y254 ama was our say wake up kucheza hiyo ngoma yako nitafute nakwambia ulikuwa na makosa nishapewa plug cuz unapata like automatically ukifanya tu kitu mzuri kazi mzuri inajiuzanga hata mm. unapatanga like demrembo akitembea pali hata shingo yake uchoka cuz every skiss So na kwambia tu kazi mzuri juza. So Kenya music ndio to improve because back in the days unapata East Africa Kenya ndio ilikuwa ina lead. Wakina okay, Prezo back then I was in school. Nikiwa na CMB, yeye ndiye alikuwa ma bling bling manini unapata. But nowadays where are we? Even Rwanda ina to overtake. Because tumependa shortcut. Na shortcut to CD. Alafu unapata we don't have that community thing. Yeah. Cuz unapata when i was in south africa kuna venye kuna song moja nimefanya huko hata ndirelease mbele ni hapo nilipata in one studio like this one tulikuwa hapo ma artist wale wa big kama sita wa hiyo inch mimi pia na crew yangu tuko hapo wase watano tuko hapo unapata like pali una goronga na kwambia hiyo hiyo cue maker hapo i don't like it uh, i think turn it like this bend it like this so that you can put it this way ana kupatia kitu nafa ufanye but unapata Kenya hapa unapata like Nicki Meet somebody like uh, sijasema anafanyanga somebody like King Kaka ye ni King Kaka na mgotia ni aje bro then anaenda pale ako kwa simu Instagram Facebook nini nini mimi niko hapa na ngangana pale nimeenda mbaya hizi kuja hata ni correct oh, mazee hapo sijasikia but kuna siku moja tulikuwa na record kwa Denzel sijika unamjua Denzel Musto amefanya ngoma za Arab boy sana. Yo Denzel. Kama ushaisikia kitu kama hiyo ndio anga signature yake. Tulikuwa hapo na Masauti, Dogorichi, eh, Dawa, tulikuwa wasanii mingi mpaka Vitije Jones. So we were recording, Dawa was recording a song. 
ilifika point masauti yalisikia ma mistake kama tatu akaamuka akamwambia bro hapo unafaweke hivi hivi i was happy dogoricha akamwambia bro hapo hiyo pinch umeweka juu iturudishe kidogo i was happy mm-hmm. why because at least ile team work nilikuwa na admire yeah. nikiwa south africa is coming back mm-hmm. home no. mm-hmm. so tukiacha hii usta yetu tuko nayo hii pesa tuko nayo kidogo <laughs> na tuweke tu like we focus on our industry industry yetu inaweza kuja ikuwe mbali zaidi kushinda hata venye we, Tanzania tumewashindia kitu moja wako na melody we agree we accept but uko na english hawajui english si tunajua english so you know we point out si tunataka tutumie hiyo because uki, ukifika like in Tanzania unaweza pata wasani kama kumi ndio wanasema english uh, most of them ni wasafi jua at least wameona nje nje Kenya hata mtoto wangu anaongea english mbaka was like okay i like that mm-hmm. so ibi majin muko na ile wipo na watu wengine hawana <laughs> alafu wanawagonga yeah, how true. true true so in in like what you trying to tell to tell the music industry is that watu wa jengani watu wa jengani na watu wa kuwa na umoja and you be your brother's keeper ukiona hata sasa hizi msee akiniona tu interview hapa ni mbonga mbaya text me niambie bro hapo ulibonga mbaya hapo hapo nitakwambia thanks ningesema nini ungesema hii na hii mm-hmm. na kukuambia tu asante next time nikikuja nitasema hiyo venye uliniambia just ukiona msee ana mess up ama msee anaenda play side kwa hapo ama msee anaenda direction mbaya just yes, for example recently kuna Mustafa mm-hmm. uliona hiyo situation ya Mustafa mm-hmm. ile mpaka Mustafa ameenda na ako kwa mjengo na anafanya kwa kazi kwa mjengo <laughs> kolonea Mustafa huko una hiyo story mm-hmm. Imagine mpaka imefika pali sasa wa Kenya ndio wakishaona sasa ikishakuja social media ime trend ndio wasee sasa wamejitolea mm-hmm. wanaanza kumchangia. Hiyo ni uongo si mzuri. Yeah. Inafaa mimi kama ni best yako sasa hizi. Yeah. I had money. Yeah. Ikiisha unakujia nikwambie bro kuna venye life imenipiga piga hivi. Yeah. Au si lazima unipatie money. Nipatie njia ya kupata money. Nipata kwa sababu najua uko nayo. That's why you are top there. Somebody like Jagwa. Jagwa kona ni msanii na ni MP, alikuwa former MP sasa hizi yeye ni eh, minister I don't know. But ukimwendea like Jagwa ni aje bro. Anifanyia hivi hivi. Anakusaidia. Jua na jua like enyewe pia mimi nilikuwa down there. Mimi role model yangu anga songo kama watu wajui. Jua mseni ni venye ametoka na venye yeye uko anga like even though hata saa zingine yeye upe ana like if he want to help you lazima kuje kwa screen uchukulia video ndio ana i like it she muya mwisho ni amekusaidia mm-hmm. yeah so tuki kama tunaweza kwa hivyo usifanye msanii afike in a point like ana come suicide ama anaenda kwa mjengo ama alafu media pia wanafaa play tu yani watu saidie cuz unajua once i'm broke and you are playing my music naweza pata shows na hizo shows zinaweza nilipa kidogo kidogo ile naweza ni ni drive ni siingie kwa mjengo Sijasema mjengo ni mbaya. Mjengo ni mzuri. But ile point tunafaa tufike kama artists inafaa like hata government inafaa ingililie. Watupatie hata wasewe wale wanaweza tusaidia venye like ukipata pesa mingi hivi wa ku advise venye unaweza tumia hii pesa cuz Mustafa was Mustafa Colonel back then. Juzi nikiona Mustafa ameenda kwa mjengo anapiga mjengo ile ni uma sana. Na hata nili, kuna doni litumwa nikasema tu hii hata nikitumwa hii sasa ni ujinga juu inasaidia nini sasa na asha kuwa hapo na by the way naifanya juu anapenda juu mama yake alikuwa na kansa au mama yake akopo Mustafa so hiyo kitu ndio naona inaua industry yetu cuz when you are you are on, on top of everything you forget about others when others wamekuja sasa wamekufikia hapo wewe umerudi chini sasa ndio unaona hao watu walikuwa do you do you have people like now that you've raised that point here when you're on top you forget other people and when now like that dimension you've you've um introduced ukona watu who una mentor mimi like honestly speaking i don't do my things on cameras or on tv or on phone like i have to record you i've helped a lot a lot of people na stakange ku brag hata stakange kusema ju i sound healthy kwangu like ati nimekusaidia haikuipo but 
mimi naweza sema nimesaidia wase wengi siku moja mkikutana nao kwa street most other watu mimi usaidia most of them si hata wasanii wasanii niko nimewasaidia wasanii wa aina tu lakini watu wale mimi usaidia sana hawa wase unapata kwa street unapata kama mse mada ule ako na mtoi hapo uh, ana bag nini hawa se kama hao especially nyaka ya covid nilisaidia wase wengi sana but stakangi kuambia watu cuz naona ngatuna is not right cuz like nimekusaidia huko unaweza mbona nitangazia watu uh, shortly i want us to talk about the album uli hiyo nini ngoma uli release yeah yeah the ngoma ngoma ni release inaitwa hera hera is a nice luo word meaning love and like mm. nowadays <laughs> watu wanasema ni ama piano mimi sijafanya ama piano mimi nimefanya luo piano eh yeah lakini wajaluo. Mm. Tunaweza kutana hapa nyuma ya tent tuonge. Ni sawa, hiyo tukiongea tu hapo ni matendo itakuwa tu fiti. Ile ile <laughs> kama ni muongea biashara ama ni muongea kitu kingine mimi ndasema tu. I always listen to people. Mm. I'll give you all my time like time zote unataka uni explain whatever it is unataka kuni explain. Ikuwe mbaya, ikuwe mzuri I'll receive it. And that's why una nata Hera to get it back to Hera when I was doing this thing I consulted a lot of people so that I can get a good music out because if you can kama umeisikiza kuna a lot of jango Kiswahili and uh, English ndani yake but ile ime play a major part ile iko kwa limelight ni jango because chorus iko in Kijaluo but is a catchy word which is Hera meaning love ni something like just telling somebody kuna sangino ulikuwa unasema wasanii udanganya sana hatudanganyi <laughs> we are just my lying uh, no you are not lying exactly hatudanganyi <laughs> tunadanganya ndio ucheke like ukicheka hivyo at least unajua like nikiimba hii ngoma maybe niliimbia mtu hiyo hera but wewe unafikiria akili yako inakwambia ngoma nimeimbiwa hata ukiimba unaimba ni kama wewe ndio umeimbiwa si ni kweli mm-hmm. so a huyo msema amekudanganya lakini kuna msema hajadanganya but sa zile kwa hiyo procedure ya kukudanganya ame amekufanya ukakuwa happy so the, the end justifies the means yes <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it is a good song it's a dope song watu wanaweza icheki maze enda ingia tu hapo youtube naitwa da king everywhere da king nilikuwa naitwa cool mark da king but now i'm branding myself as da king because uh, I have noticed that I'm no longer cool. No <laughs> 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 time to no <laughs> time to be a bad boy. Love like that but yeah. Why? Why why you no longer cool though? <laughs> okay, I'm, first I'm getting old. <laughs> the coolness. You, you can be old and cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> and why? Like, like the way I'm like the, the way I say I'm chasing pepper. Unajua well, pepper za zingine unaweza tafuta pepper mpaka mse anasema eh hey, mse si the coolness unajua kuna mse mse cool ile mse yako easy ame relax ametulia but me sa hizi niko yeah so i just want to do away with cool maybe my son can use it me just just go with the king king of lexide the king ni kwetu the king da king unanipata sounds nice amazing yeah. what can we look forward to Yeah there's the like uh, I have like three songs that I want to release but I don't want to release three songs that I go like I don't want to waste two because when you once you really like yesterday I was discussing this with Ken Rezi alikuwa ananiambia kona EP ya seven songs I was like bro once we kind up kuna song moja tu itaenda kudupo hizo zingine zinaenda ku kufunikwa so me I have three songs at the moment zile zisha kwatari na videos we are discussing me and my team on how to release those songs on a like to hang zena gani to fuate na gani to na gani but some people are advising me like i keep this line the low piano thing because it's new in the market good fresh and cool so like kuna song ka tatu zina kama hivi washika down naomba tu support zenu nitawa support hata mimi most of the time you support like kuna challenge ya hera inakuja tiktok oh yeah amazing uh, even you today to take up Uh, even today na and I shoot video I'm going to meet those TikTokers like there are a hundred of them so I'm meeting them we are doing those videos then the challenge young zetu so na kuomba tu kiwa home up kindly ingia tu hapo once challenge imetoka piga hiyo challenge kila wiki mnajuanga venye da king ufanya mambo yake by the way alikuwa kulmal kulmal alikuwa anafanya mambo yake every week alikuwa anapatia nanga 2000 
kwa mtu mmoja tu ameona dance yake imem nice niko na kuchukua tu na ku inbox unanitumia namba yako na kutumia 2000 this time na wana july fiko tough sana nataka kuiweka ikuwe 3000 at least hiyo 3000 kitu ile hauna utaipata so once the challenge itakuwa ime come out kindly ingia hapo do your challenge maze ni wewe unaniangalia sasa hivi wewe tu huyo una smile na kuona <laughs> wewe ndio nitakupatia hiyo 3k amazing give us a parting shot mi naweza sema maze respect to god respect to god size politics imeisha sana na politics work hard get money lisha familia yako hiyo tu ya kubigi ile bigi sana respect god tunaweza kupata wapi kwa social media handles kulmalk da king facebook Cool Mark da King Instagram TikTok da King 14 eh, YouTube paliata nataka u subscribe sana da King official Amazing thank yeah. you so much for making time uko na shout outs uh, yeah uh, okay ina ni mpaka fast nataka ku shout out watu wonge watu watu wote wa South Sea maze South Sea da farm area maze na big up tu sana Teddy wase wate wa many support my brother bahari eduji slim films wase wale wako tu wase wengi sana mama d mume tu support sana uma tao godon yani wase wame tu support tu sana mpaka eriko so mimi naomba tu maze hiyo support umenipatia wase una wanaambia ni wase wale hata tunaweza enda kushoot videos kio tu msaya aseme buda hao wasichana umewalipa pesa ngapi ati nimewalipa 5k each no bana ongeza kila mtu tao mbili mbili na lipa so au ni wase wale wanani supportingi financially eh, wananipatia ngatu zile support ile mzuri sana so i want to big, big up you all of you jagede my producer moha big up everybody what nikikusahau si makosa yangu ni akili yangu lakini nakujua thank you so much thank yeah. you for making time we appreciate it Asante sana. thank you for the conversation that was the king <coughs> He's released a song Hera please go on his YouTube channel and check it out and as you check it out don't touch that dial there's something juicy coming up right next